Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. As with any repair, be sure you've unplugged the appliance before beginning. Your first step is to move the control panel out of the way. To do this, remove the screws found at either end. On some models, these screws may be located in the rear panel, or they may be covered by plastic end caps. Pull the end cap off from the top to access the screw. Remove both screws and rotate the panel up. Some models use clips instead of screws to secure the control panel. Insert a putty knife between the control panel and the cabinet to release the clips. Unplug the wire connector and snap out the spring clips using a flathead screwdriver. Tilt the cabinet toward you, slide forward and remove. Set down the front of the cabinet on a towel or carpet to access the lid switch assembly. Remove the ground screw first. Followed by the two mounting screws. Unsnap the wire harness from the two metal retainers. You can use a flathead screwdriver to assist in detaching the harness. Remove the old lid switch by using pliers to evenly squeeze both sides of the wire connector. You're now ready to install the new lid switch assembly. Snap the wire connector of the new lid switch assembly into place. Secure the wire harness using both metal retainers. Line the main switch up with the screw holes near the lid opening and secure with the two mounting screws. Then attach the grounding wire. Now reinstall the cabinet. The front edge of the cabinet slides underneath the base frame. Use your foot to push it into position. Align the two notches in each side of the cabinet with the tabs on each side of the base frame. Now ease the cabinet to match up with the rear panel. Reinstall the spring clips. Reattach the wire connector. Rotate the control panel down and lock the clips into place. Or reinstall the two screws. If applicable to your model, replace the end caps by aligning the tab with the slot at the bottom and snapping the cap into position. You're now ready to plug the appliance back in to make sure it's functioning properly.